Hello and welcome to Football Manager 2015. My name is Phil and I'm here to show you a tactic which I believe is one of the best tactics in Football Manager 2015. Now, last video on Football Manager, I it was in Football Manager 2014. The tactic was a kind of five at the back with wing backs pushing forward, getting crosses in, big target man up front, smashing the header in. Uh, really like that tactic, but I wanted to do something a little bit different now in 2015. Um, what I wanted to see was, um, I loved the old school 4-5-1s. I felt in 2014 they'd been nerfed, especially the inside forward. Um, and I wanted to see if you could go back to those dimes, uh, if you could, um, if, if inside forwards could work, if there was a way that they could work. Um, so I started up a game as Crystal Palace um, because I know they had very good inside forwards or potentially very good um, and now I'm up to the 23rd of December 2017 and so far it's going very well um, if we go into tactics here I'll show you it so it's 451 or 4231 um, however you like to call it um, you've got uh, just a regular goalkeeper defence uh, at the back here. I uh, have been known to use sweeper keepers in the past. Um, worked out quite well for me, uh, but I've found that uh, it's been absolutely fine like this. I think if you had a keeper who was very high in the stats of you know coming rushing out, one-on-ones, that type of thing, uh, you may be tempted to go with sweeper keeper. I'm a big fan of it, so you know it's an option basically. Um, and then you've got a flat back four. Nothing fancy here at all. No instructions extra for any of these guys. Um, just you know, automatic fullbacks. They get up and down. I generally go for an attacking mentality with this. Um, at the minute, um, to begin with, I was going for like counter-attacking standard when I didn't have quite as good a team. I've got better players now, so I, I can generally tend to go attacking um, with a fluid shape. Um, and it's working very well for me. Central defence, both on defend, as I say, no extra, um, no player instructions, sorry, at all for them. Um, and while I'm probably averaging at least conceding one goal a game, it generally is working out pretty well for me. Um, moving up into midfield, then you've got your um, ball winning midfielder, defend. Um, in terms of player instructions for him, he uh, simply pass it shorter. Uh, that's it. Um, so what I want him to do, as soon as he wins the ball, pass it off to either the deep line playmaker or the attacking midfielder, or even if he can do it out to the sides there, but just keep it short, uh, keep it tight. Um, you don't need somebody who's got massively high passing stats, you need somebody who's aggressive, who can tackle, good stamina, um, and good work rate, basically. They're the, the workhorse of the side, the Lee Catamol as it were. Um, next up you've got the deep line uh, playmaker, Will Hughes in this case. Um, their job is to distribute the ball out between the front four players here. Um, I've toyed a little bit with using an advanced playmaker. Um, I've found that in matches where I'm definitely a stronger team that can work very well, um, but perhaps when I'm playing against the better sides like the Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United, Man Cities, I'll tend to go for a deep line playmaker or if I just want to keep it you know, nice and safe. And if I'm at home and I want to really go for a win, I can change it to attacking um, playmaker, uh, which does work quite well, but you have to bear in mind that it will leave your defence a little bit more exposed. Uh, in there um, and again um, in terms of t uh, instructions for him nothing in particular at all next up moving into the center there you've got the attacking midfield center support this is probably the one weakness of the side I'm undecided as to whether or not it's the player or the position I think the player is fairly decent in Johnny Williams I've got some good stuff out of him before but his stats in the last few uh, seasons have not been great as you can see um, started off pretty well in the first season um, always paid him pretty much as a, a attacking midfielder support but seems to have deteriorated over the past few seasons so it could be time for him to move on or could be time for me to change the tactic um, again um, in terms of instructions nothing in particular I'm just keeping it really simple with this tactic um, then you've got the uh, inside forwards this is the key to the team in the, in the, in the same way in my last tactic the wing backs were the key the wingers this time are the key um, so inside forward attack um, it's going to leave you exposed down the sides somewhat it's going to leave you exposed maybe to counter attacking but the whole idea of this tactic is to outscore the opponent that's its one motivation it's about winning games it's not about 
a campaign of you know one or two nil wins keeping it tight at the back you know scraping that home win it's about going out there and just playing attacking football and trying to score as many goals as possible basically um which is really what i wanted to do um so here i've got um yannick balassi and um i've got troy in there my usual one has been uh delafeo but he's injured at the minute um but i found interestingly enough i found that both sides when one side scores a lot of goals, say the left is scoring a lot of goals, the other side doesn't tend to, and vice versa. So in my first season, I had Wilfred Zaha, who scored a lot of goals on the right, and Yannick Balassi didn't score as many. Um, still scored a few, but not as many. And then the last few seasons, Yannick Balassi has just been outstanding. Now, if you look at him, okay, he's not the greatest player in uh, Football Manager. There are probably players a lot better suited to this role. You know, a Ronaldo, a Bale. Um, you know, great players. He's got really good dribbling, very good pace, good flair. His finishing is seven. It's terrible. Uh, yet somehow he's absolutely smashing the goals in for me. The average rating is out of the world, especially this season. Nearly in 15 matches, nearly an eight is outstanding. 14 goals, 18 last season. Just phenomenal, really. Um, really good assists the first two seasons. Scoring more goals now, and so the assists are dropping, which I'm absolutely fine with. There's no issue there. Um, and really doing a great job. Um, very, very happy uh, with the way he's been playing. I think he's also been voted the um, Premier League Player of the Season for like the last two seasons running, um, which, considering a lot of the great players in the Premier League, is really, really good. Um, so that's been fantastic. And as I say, I've, I've gone through a few different people on the right. I've always kept Yannick Blassie on the left, but gone through a few on the right. And they've all done, you know, pretty well. It's a position, I think, where the stronger player you have, the better they're going to do. But you can get away with having, you know, decent to average players in those positions and they will just score goals. Um, that is the key to the team. The goals which are coming from these two positions, the assists coming from these two positions, um, you know, are really, really necessary. In terms of player um, instruction, sorry, nothing. Nothing at all. Um, just go out there, attack. Um, it, it already is on things like dribble, you know, you don't need to shoot more often, you don't need to pass it shorter, or I haven't even selected the crosses because I just don't really want them to cross. Uh, I just want them to, I mean, I don't mind if they cross because you still have a striker, but, you know, what you want is for them to cut inside, basically. And then you have the centre forward. Now, this is a position where I'd struggled with for a couple of seasons. Um, I hadn't really known what to do with it. I'd started off in the first season with like a poacher. Um, I tried with a target man um, because I had success with that in my last tactic. And also advanced forward. And for the last three seasons, probably haven't felt like I cracked it. But I think the problem was more the player rather than the position. Um, this season, I've got Immobile. Um, and he is on fire 16 and 16 21 and 23 uh great stats um yeah doing everything i want him to do basically he's just there in the box putting putting the goals away uh great finishing good first touch composure great you know decent other stats off the ball really good as well that's what you need um and just working out very very well so very pleased there last season i had Cornelius up front I believe for most of the season um, let's just get on his stats a sec and yeah didn't do so well um, goal every other game really which probably looking for a little bit more um, which is why I was tinkering with the um, position but sometimes just keeping it simple is the key uh, with it now if I go to uh, the analysis of this tactic um, you can see I pretty much have used this tactic in every single game I've played. Um, scored 100. This is the last 15 matches, 50 matches, sorry. Uh, but I can tell you that for the last four seasons I've used this tactic solidly. Um, as you can see, 116 scored, 70 conceded. It's very much about outscoring the opponent. Um, I th can't remember why I used a 4-4-1-1. I think it was maybe I had was playing against a much bigger side like a Barcelona or something and decided to go there seemed to work great um if i had a look at where the goals are coming from um pretty average on goal times really uh as to where they're going um 
which is fine. Um, and same with conceded. Um, not so much late goals scored or conceded. Uh, I always recommend if you're going into the 90th minute, just hit defensive. I rarely ever concede a goal when I hit defensive around the 90th minute. Um, it does seem to be quite a fast start. Um, you can see this in the first half. I do tend to score quite a few goals, um, which is very useful. In terms of goal types, well, pretty clear to see where uh, we're going here. Place so shots, basically. Um, inside forward, striker, they're getting goals. Look at this, 58 from around the penalty spot. A few round the sides. Um, goals from within my own half too, which seems to be pretty good. Uh, and um, yeah, on the and 27, uh, you know, poachers goals basically. So a few headers, um, uh, a couple, a few power shots, but it's all about the play shots basically. Good finishing, um, working out very very well. Um, in terms of assists, you can see the pass. Not so many of the crosses. Um, in my previous tactic, it was definitely very high on the crosses, but the pass is the king here. Um, it's not about long ball. I do play direct if we go back and have a look here. Overview of the um, uh, team tactics, uh, which are oh, on team instructions. Here we go. So on, under possession, we go more direct passing, pass into space, uh, clear the ball to the flanks because I want them to get it out to the flanks for these guys to run at players, cut inside, pass it, that sort of thing. Exploit the flanks, so yeah, you know, telling my players to look for uh, the sides. Um, close down more and get stuck in. It's a very physical tactic. It It's not about possession, but it's about not letting the other team have the ball for very long, <laughs> um, which is the best way I could put it. So it's direct in so much as... Um, I want my team to get the ball off the opposition. I don't want to let them have the ball as much. But when we have the ball, we have one aim, and that is to go for goal, basically. It's not about keeping the ball so the other team can't have it. It's just about going in for goal. If we lose the ball, we try and get it back as quickly as possible. Um, I've got prevent short goalkeeper distribution because I was having some problems with that uh, in 2015. I don't know if other people have been having, but I've had problems where he's just passed it out to an opposition player or he's passed it out to a defender and they've lost it straight away and I've conceded so I did that and that's worked quite well and they've actually you know kept passing it up uh, the box um, higher tempo as well um, again I want it to be nice and quick I don't want the players to uh, be holding the ball too much passing it around for the sake of it um, you know get it out to the wing get the players running at the other players that's what I really like about this tactic is the players will run uh, at defenders, they'll run past them, they'll cut inside, especially the inside forwards. Um, you know, they're not afraid to take a shot or two, um, which is really good. It's exciting football, I think, um, which is the kind of football I like my teams to play in Football Manager. Uh, okay, uh, in terms of set pieces, I've not really done anything special here um, at all. Free kicks are aimed at the best header. Uh, corners, I still go near post. I haven't had as much success with that in 2015 as I have in 2014. So it may be something I'm looking to tweak a little bit there. But then again, I don't have great corner kick takers um, on the side. So it could also have something to do with that. Um, yeah, and, and you know, in terms of how I'm doing with this tactic, well, at the minute I'm first in the Premier League. Um, last season I was uh, third. Um, and I also won the Europa League. Um, or the yeah Europa League, um, beating Real Madrid in the final on penalties, which um, was a surprise because I usually lose penalties, um, but it was very nice. And got into Champions League by finishing third last season in the Champions League now, doing pretty well. Uh, if we have a look through, um, lost a couple of games recently. Barcelona, I'd already qualified, so I didn't mind too much losing that one. I was annoyed at the Man uh, United one, but it was my first league loss all season. Um, I also lost the Euro Super Cup on penalties. As I say, I usually lose penalty matches, so I wasn't too surprised. I wasn't too worried about losing that. Um, but a great start to the season. Um, and as you can see, you know, the left-hand column is the goals I'm scoring. We're scoring goals, and that's what I like. You know, you can see here 5-2, a 4-2, a 5-2, 3-3, uh, 3-2. It's exciting, you know. I like to play like that because... I like to see my players on the score sheet. I like to see them doing well. Um, and I think winning matches is more important than not losing. Um, you know, 
I may lose four or five games this season, especially as we go to the second half of the season. But the chances are I'll win more than my, my opponents. And if you look in here, you'll see um, Man City are unbeaten in 15 games, but I'm still top. Sure, if they win that game in hand, I'll be second, but I'm hopeful we can keep it going. Uh, I'm into the knockout stages of the European Champions Cup, so doing pretty well there. Um, and yeah, and as you can see, league position this season has mostly been up around the top since the beginning. So yeah, um, going very well here. It's a tactic which took a while to get going. Um, if I go all the way back to my first season, you can see I was losing quite a few games to begin with, um, mostly against the bigger teams. Um, that's one thing I would say about this tactic is it is risky. Um <laughs> You concede a lot of goals. You can see here, look, 3 2, 3 1, um, 3 1, 4 1, 2 0, 3 1. Um, you know, I wasn't generally losing by the odd goal, I was generally getting whipped. And um, that is a, a problem if you don't have a strong enough defence, you don't have a good enough goalkeeper, perhaps um, you can leave yourself exposed. So that's something to watch out for if you're I don't know if it is I mean I did pretty well in my first season with Crystal Palace I got them to ninth um, which I think is a good achievement um, especially with the strength of the squad and the fact that you don't start off with a great amount of money um, had some great highlights during the season um, best one I think was when I beat Man United 6-2 here um, really showed I think what uh, this tactic can do um, that's just basically every single shot I took, I scored, um, which was fantastic. Um, but it's something you have to watch out for in defence. I mean, as I say, I tried to keep my defence a little bit simple. Um, I have some good players. If you want to get it, it's a great free transfer by Frederick Sorensen. Got him a free transfer first season. Um, he's on a fair amount now, but he was on maybe 15,000 a week when I signed him. Um, so, you know, not unachievable for an average size Premier League club. Um, or even a, a promoted club really um, and done very well great stats um, good height still quite quick um, you know generally all round very good player um, could play at right back and has played at right back many times for me and Lucas Splenderhoff Hoffer as well uh, I was a big fan of his in 2014 found uh, he was doing very well there good young uh, player and um, again stats really good for a defender there um, just absolutely solid really so if you're looking for a couple of good centre backs and you're struggling uh, they're quite good spend off and I got for 2.8 million um, which in a Premier League is nothing really for a decent centre back um, yeah so if I have a look um, through I'll show you my uh, overall win percentage 55% um, that's not bad considering, as I say, I had a mid-table finish last season. Uh, season before that, I finished sixth. So I went ninth, sixth, third. So realistically, I should get first now because that's the way the numbers are working. Uh, right? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I will, but um, certainly have a better shot than any other season. Um, Cole scored 369 in 179 games so as you can see it's about scoring goals that's what i like uh, 100 games won sure 41 lost um and my goal difference is plus 109 in 179 games which is not bad i don't think also in charge of columbia if i show you the columbia tactic i slightly tweaked it i think it's worth tweaking it for the different players you have so because i've got james rodriguez i'm using him as a support striker obviously he's probably one of the best players in the game so you probably want to get him up there. I think I've played him as an advanced playmaker as well a few times. Um, I've not noticed too much difference. Um, this guy, Cuadrado, uh, I believe, um, is another player who I would love to sign, but uh, realistically, 32 million and he's 29, not really going to happen, but scoring good amount of goals with Chelsea um, and those average ratings are superb as well. So, um, you know, he's suited. I changed them to supports. Um, internationally because I wanted to shore up a little bit but we're still getting a good amount of goals um, if I have a look at the schedule here for some reason I lose every friendly I play I don't know why I seem to win and if you look at the goals here I've scored so you know in my qualifiers this was to begin with and we were pretty solid 
um, as we got to know the tactic. As we got to know it, you can see a 5-3, a 4-2, 8-1, 4-1, scoring bucket loads of goals, basically. Um, let's see how many chances we had here. Uh, where are we? Stats. Match stats. 37 shots, 20 on target. Yes, we're playing Venezuela. Probably not the best side in the world, but you can just... You can see it, it's about attacking, basically. Um, go back in, and yeah. But friendlies, I seem to do very badly, and I don't know if that's just a, a thing. Um, I, I, probably one of the reasons is all my players come with instructions that they're only allowed to play 45 minutes in a friendly or something like that, so you have to generally I have to put out a weekend squad and, and things like that, really. But I don't think it really matters that I'm losing my friendlies that much when I'm, I'm winning my other games quite well. Um, but yeah, if we go to the stats in the Premier League, um, where is it? Competitions, Premier League stats. Um, as you can see, I'm joint top on goals. Um, 43 in how many matches we played? Um, let me have a look. Uh, where are we? Premier League. 16 matches. 43 goals in 16 matches is pretty good. Man United are matching me. Um, good for them, but they have lost four. <laughs> uh, so, um, then they've won 12. They, uh, they did win 9 0 against Everton, so perhaps that's a little bit ski with. Um, but in all the games we've won, we we scored a good amount of goals. A couple of two ones there, um, you know, a one nil as well. You're always going to get those matches, but where you're playing against a very defensive team, I've noticed as the season's gone on, my team's got better. Um, I've had to go more attacking because they've gone more defensive. It can lead you to get counter attacked, but I generally find for the odd counter attack goal I concede, I'm scoring two to three goals in attack. Um, other times are when you're playing against a big team, say, you know, City, United or Chelsea. And, you know, with their just great players, you know, someone like Sergio Aguero or, you know, Falcao, someone like that will just, you know, will do very well against you. Um, but that's just one of those things that you, you just have to live with. But I, I do seem to be getting a good record against them now. I've got slightly better players. And as you can see, stats for players wise, uh, Immobile's top, Yannick Balassi second. As I say, he's... he's Finishing is seven, so um, eventually I'll probably sell him and see what happens when I get somebody who can actually finish. Uh, <laughs> and uh, his average rating seven point nine seven, um, so playing very well. And Delafay had not really got the goals this season. I wanted him to uh, only three, but assists are very good. And his average rating is brilliant as well. So you can't complain if someone's average rating is very high as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about it really. The tactic. Um, and one thing I will say is it does take about half a season to get going, uh, get your players to learn, uh, learn about it and also tweak it so that, you know, if I played around with this role as well here, the deep line playmaker, if you just have a, a box to box midfielder that can work just as well. You don't have to have a playmaker there. Um, you know, it, it's up to you really. I'm, I'm all for playing players in the best position, uh, their natural position, um, rather than um, having a tactic and then overlaying the, the players into that really um you know if you've got a box-to-box -box midfielder he's better at that than a deep line playmaker play him if you've got a support striker rather than an attacking midfielder play it um yeah you know the one key i would say are these inside forwards the inside forward is definitely back in 2015 it's working um 2014 it didn't work uh anybody who tried a 451 in 2014 with uh, inside forwards will know it didn't really work it's working now um yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave some comments. I'd love to answer them.